people that play the gigs in the world out there. Do you play acoustic gigs in the world out there, Kiana? Hey, Kiana's here, by the way. Hi. Well, my room is in the world, so... Yes. It's not really a gig, but... Do you get paid to play in the room? No. Then it's not a gig. Also... I got paid once. To play in your room? No. Oh. Um, but also, when you play in your room, it's just acoustic, right? Yeah. So... When you play acoustic guitar, you usually just play acoustic guitar. You don't need a PA system, especially when you play at home. No, I mean, this I is the whole PA system. <laughs> yes. uh, but when you go on stage, that's not enough. Exactly. So you might want it louder. You might. You might want it to compress a bit so that all the little details come out more. For that, you would need a compressor. Um. You might want it to do more than it does. Like when you play once, that it plays twice or maybe even thrice. Or you might want that. Or quadrice. When you go like, shring, that it goes, shring, 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 shring. Yes. Or you're on stage outside. It's not in a room. No. You might want it to sound like it's where? In a room. In a room. In a room. Yeah. Or maybe there's too much highs, not maybe. enough lows. Maybe. And you want more or less of the stuff in the middle, which we call... Mids. The mids. Also, you might want your instrument to be in tune. You might want that if you're playing on stage. Which is or why... in general. Yeah, which is a uh, general tune. General tune! Mm. Uh, which is why we haven't tuned this Gramercy or Mercer. I don't know which one it is. Wait. I can't see it either. The D'Angelico acoustic guitar that I have. Does it say it on top? No. Mm -mm. So it's a D'Angelico acoustic guitar. It's a Gramercy or a Mercer. And we haven't tuned it. Nope. We haven't tuned um, it. So what is this whole thing about? I mean, what if you could have the tool to go on stage and it's one tool and it does it all. Wouldn't that be amazing? Wouldn't that be amazing? Wouldn't the nice people from Denmark have made that? Would they? Yes. Mm. Now, of course, there are all-encompassing DI products for guitar that give you your general acoustic guitar stuff, like uh, an anti-feedback, which um, this doesn't have, um, and... Uh, uh, a compressor, a little bit of reverb, all the stuff you kind of need for a nice acoustic sound. Throw it on stage. You not, don't need that at home, but when you're gigging, your one-stop shop solution for acoustic sounds is a nice idea. I wouldn't want to build myself a whole pedal board with acoustic stuff. So that's why we have the acoustic gig from the Carl Martin. Leslie's on it. Yes, Leslie is chaperoning this video, as Kiana so beautifully pointed out in the last video. Mm -hmm. Leslie's watching. So what do we have? Um, we have a really small looking pedal. However, it's not. No. Um, we have a back camera somewhere where it, that shows the desk from the back, where we can see, yeah, that it's a rather big pedal. In front of it, I have the Fishman Aura, which is very interesting because this thing changes your um, piezo sound into kind of like a mic sound. And I have it here because 
the acoustic gig comes with a power supply, but it also has a 9 and 12 volt out in the back that can power other pedals. So if you have an additional pedal that you want, you don't need an extra power supply for it. The acoustic gig supplies the power, which is what we're doing right here. That's the in from the delivered included power supply, and then I'm going out into the Fishman Aura. That's why the Aura is there. Also, it sounds quite a bit better with the Aura. Um, the Aura. That's from Harry Potter. But that's not what it does. This is not a the magic police. No. This is an acoustic pedal. Small difference. Very easy to confuse the two. Um, so what we have is um, there's an input. There's on the back a uh, an effect loop, so you can actually loop effects into it. Um, there's um, an XLR out, a face a ground lift right here. Phases you up here. Nine. <laughs> what, Alexa wants to play music. She wants attention. You said Alexa. Why would you do that? Alexa, Alexa nine. <laughs> now she doesn't listen anymore. I have to learn how to shut her up. Um, that stuff is so creepy, honestly. Lesla, it uh, just creeps me out. For Lesley, real. Leslie wishes it, it, I had that button that shuts me up. Which is understandable. I don't know. Um, so, uh, okay, moving on to uh, in the back, uh, XLR, uh, power in, power out. And then there's an output in um, quarter inch. So, on the top, com how much comparison and how loud does it go after the comparison? Uh, echo is the thing that makes it more than it was before. And how many of those do we hear? And then there's a tone knob, a little one. Uh, there is a dotted eighth, like kind of like one subdivision for this echo section, which is here, but has the knob right here. Tap tempo right here. These clickies are, you know, the typical heavy clickies. Um, then there's a reverb. There's one type of reverb, and that's the, the, it's not multi-algorithm, and it's just a mix, and that's it. Boosters, how much louder do you want it for those amazing acoustic guitar solos that we all play? Uh, EQ bypass will hmm, bypass the EQ. I wonder. Could be, could be, could be those clever Danes up there. Um, so then you have treble, middle, bass, and an overall level for the three-band EQ. But it's a parametric because you can actually change the uh, frequencies with little little mini knobbies that don't have a white line on them. So you literally don't know where it is. So you have to use your ears and the phase shift. And then when you mute it, it should tune. So Kiana, would you do me the honor of tuning? Sure. Why are you going up? I, I'm trying to understand this thing. Ah, there it is. <laughs> this can take a while. Got it. Go way below and then attack it from, okay. from below. Got it. We can speed things up here. Mm -hmm. This is so frustrating. No. <laughs> that was too quick. There it is. Got it. Thank you. So, um, this is not like the Strobo Storm from Peterson. This isn't like a poly tune from TC. This isn't one one of those tuners where you go like, oh my god, fully featured, mega amazing, super tune, and ultra precise. I mean, it's got a too high, too low, and I'm okay in the middle. It's a built-in tune. It's got a big-ass display. Uh, it's not going to, you know, give you the tuner boner. You definitely don't get the tuner boner, but I mean, you know, if you have a really good tuner, you can get a tuner boner. This won't give you that, but... But it does its job. It does its job. Um, so, uh, which brings us to... Well, i first show you the sound without the aura, and then with the aura, and then you know what the acoustic gig will add. So, this is... Blend all the way down. This is the totally dry piezo sound. Dig in! Come on. Okay. 
And now I'm gonna go and blend in the aura, and this is what the aura will do digitally to the signal. Everything else on the Aura is flat, everything is flat, everything else you're gonna hear is from the acoustic gig. Uh, so we go through the different uh, sections, which is uh, comp. So if I enable the comp, my level should automatically jump up. Try that. So I compress quite a bit now. And now technically, if you play really quietly, it should be louder than really quietly. So it doesn't matter now if Keanu plays really softly or really digs in. It all kind of is on a similar level. So without it, go. It, it doesn't really change your tone at all, but it evens out the stuff uh, for some, you know, subtle finger picking. Do some finger picky stuff. Okay. Try to do some finger picky stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now I'm really lifting. Zippity doo da, zippity. <clears throat> uh, so uh, that's a beautiful little helper that doesn't really change your tone to get the quiet stuff uh, not to be so quiet. Okay, um, then we have this echo thing, which gives you more of what you had before. I think this is the level, and it doesn't have a time knob. Give me a short, 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 short one. So echo is the level, but time is only tappable. Or le tapable, okay. as they say. Oh, I did not miss in, that. Oh, you missed it so much. No. Where, do you, where did they say le tapable? Only here. <laughs> That's why I should avoid this place. You love being back, don't you? I do. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so I'm going to le, le tap tempo. The... I was in the middle of changing the tempo. Oops. I, <laughs> go. There you go. Sounds like an analog uh, delay. Because it's quite a bit darker. Okay. Oh, wait, there's a tone. Go again. It's still darker. It's an, it doesn't sound like a digital delay. Um, so give me the guitar for a second because it has a, a dotted eighth mode. So let's let's do the dotted eighth trick. Let me see. And then we do this. I could be 
fun. To Without the faces you keep making, but yeah. What, what, what's with the faces? That's what I'd like to know. I think the faces are not the problem with this picture right there. It's all the other faces right <laughs> exactly. here. I really like that quality of the delay because it's darker, doesn't get in the way of the original guitar. So if I compress that... I can play very subtly. And even the people in the second row will hear it. That's so cool. I mean, realistically, you're playing an acoustic gig somewhere and it's COVID time, so uh, there's, there isn't going to be a third row. No. It's, there's two rows, two rows and that's it. And lots of... I'm enjoying this too much. I see that. That's nice. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Yeah, you, you, you play. Okay. Um, I'm just your cable holder. Yeah. Um, that's the, all you're good for. Uh, the reverb. Give me a short burst so we hear the... It's not a super long massive reverb, just gives it a little bit of ambience. Play. Um, boost will simply make it louder when you need that in a solo section or something like that. So, uh, boost. And every time, by the way, I say boost, what do I want to say, Kiana? Every single time in a video, since that time when we did that, every time I do a boost video, and every time I say the word, it's in my head. I legit do not remember. Uh, okay. Oh, is me. it a boost or is it the shaboost? Oh my goodness, I completely forgot. Shaboost cream. Shaboost cream, yes. Who doesn't like a nice shaboost cream? Uh, in the shoe pastry, obviously. Yeah, obviously in the shoe pastry, but not, not too moist. Uh, just a drizzle. <laughs> just a drizzle uh, on the shoe pastry of the shaboost cream. I completely forgot. Yeah, we watched uh, American, uh, no, uh, the, Great the Great British, British the Great Bake British Bake Off. Which is just the best show ever. Quite profusely, yeah. A lot. Yeah. yeah. That doesn't make us weird at all. No, we're weird besides the fact that we also <laughs> watched the Great British Bake Off. Yeah. Moving on. Yes. So, I'll give you a nice boost. <laughs> so, play something subtle. And there it is louder. That shaboosted it. <laughs> it. It shaboosted it. That's what that does. So if you don't want the guy on the uh, mixing console on the front of house to be responsible for your solo level, right there it is. Or for your subtle part level, you can boost it or shaboost it. If you're being real fancy. Um, there isn't an on-off for the EQ. This technically doesn't make sense because you have your acoustic sound, you're molding that with the EQ and that's then kind of burned into the whole set, I think. Mm -hmm. um, you do, you can bypass it here. I don't recommend stepping on that though. Uh, so let's see. Uh, play and I will uh, do the thing. Ah, wait, it's bypassed. Now it's bypassed. Now it's on. Da 
that's beautiful because I can sweep it from 20 to 500 and very quickly find where that guitar needs some roundness. And I just found that. Let's do this again, play. And all of a sudden we have some more roundness. Nice. Uh, middle, go. Right there, it sounds a little bit okay. So I can take that out. Now I found it. And same thing for the treble. So I made it warmer, took some of the really mean bite out, and gave it some sizzle, you know, or some drizzle. Yeah, some drizzle. Oh, the shaboost. Um, now, I can turn that off, and that's what it sounds like without the EQ. Beautiful. Reverb. Thank you. So, um, yeah, for some subtle parts, a little bit more compression, a uh, little bit of echo, not too much. It wasn't crazy. play because all, of all, all of the notes jump out. It's not the super dryness, which you don't want on a nice shaboost. Turn the blend on the aura off so you hear just the pH so into the acoustic. Gig. Obviously, that sounds more like a you know direct pH so it's not the ultra pleasant sound. It'll do the job, but now without the acoustic gig completely. Ah! Now, isn't that just amazing, Kiana? Beautiful. Wouldn't you want to play a gig with that?
But you know what? This is what a lot of acoustic players do. They go to the gig, then they have the front of house guy give them a DI box, which literally takes the guitar signal, which is a guitar level signal, uh, or in this case, probably line level signal, and converts it into a microphone signal so they can run a long microphone cable to the mm -hmm. board. Mm -hmm. So you need a DI box for this to go into the front of house. With the acoustic gig, you don't need this because it has an XLR out. But this is what a lot of people go to the gig with and play with. Mm -hmm. That's what it sounds like. Mm -hmm. So the guy on the mixing console will have to EQ it a bit. And if you're lucky, he puts a little bit of reverb on it. But that's about it. With this, you are in control of the sound because isn't great. This is as awful as my outfit. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, I think your outfit is a little bit worse actually, but let's not discuss. That's already miles better. Yeah. I love that everything I play in my videos is something I've never played before and I'm just making shit up. If I actually played the things I know how to play, they'd be good videos. Yeah, maybe yeah. maybe you should do that. Like, try it out. Nah. Nah. So, um, if you combine that with the aura, not the Harry Potter one, which also has a feedback killer, which the Acoustic Geek doesn't, you literally have the best combination of two amazing products. Mm -hmm. Because now this is... That's correct! I love everything Carl Martin makes. They don't look sexy. They don't, but this is a good pedal. It can power the aura. Together, they stand united, and all of a sudden you have a really good studio sculpted, semi-virtually mic'd tone, and uh, you can really mold that with the acoustic gig. I like it. Um, it's a great product. Is it super inexpensive? No, it's massive, it's well-built, uh, it's salmon colored as any acoustic product should be. It's gorgeous. Yes. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Uh, clocks in it, a little bit over 600 bucks. I don't know where the aura is. This, is. this isn't actually an aura video. I just needed another pedal to be powered by the acoustic gig. But I really think those two together make a nice couple. Not like us. This is not a couple. And if it were, it would be nice. It would be weird and awkward and wrong in so many levels. <laughs> See, I'm okay if you do that. If Leslie does that, then we have a problem. I think I'd, I'd laugh if Leslie did that. <laughs> of course, I'd be a little bit sorry for you. A little bit. A little bit. Mm -hmm. um, thanks to Carl Martin for providing the pedal. Uh, thanks to Leslie for switching this. Thanks to the dogs for not running around. Thanks to Kiana for being silly with me. Like in the good old days. In the good old days. And you're going to do the same joke again, right? Yeah, come on. You said jokes only get better the more you... Yeah, okay. So go. So what do we say at the end, Kiana? Follow me on Instagram. <laughs> Animals at the end. <laughs> Time flying by Thoughts are trapped inside a black hole No sleep tonight Rest till everything is sat in stone So I won't stop trying Till the sun goes up above 
up at my 